The film chronicles the aftermath of um, that tragic massacre in Newtown, Connecticut in December of 2012 when 20 school children and their six educators were killed at the hands of a gunman. There were moments where even with the some of the parents that I had um, really felt a lot of trust where I would say, are we, are we pushing too far here? Um, there was a lot of questions for me about ethics of what will happen when I leave and go home and, and will this re-trigger? The film, the spine of the film is kind of peppered, if you will, with a number of um, testimonial stark interviews that often are bearing witness to their experience. Um, and there were a, f a few times where um, you just had to go on instinct, where if I felt someone couldn't or shouldn't go somewhere or that it wasn't um, a, g a good thing, I would um, go in another direction or stop or discuss it and say, let's talk about not talking about it or let's move on. And so I think I tried very hard to keep that in the, in the forefront of my mind. But I found that many people needed, I mean, when I say really needed to talk about this, and that's where the role of the camera can sometimes, you know, in bearing witness can become confessional. It was essential for me to, to do an intimate human portrait of this community um, because I feel that there are so many other good films that are being done in the space of gun violence that do a good job of that. So early on, I had to really ask myself what, what this f more about what the film wasn't, what I didn't want it to be than even before I knew what it was going to be. And it was, um, it was important politically for me even because I felt that this really just needed to be taken out of a, such a highly polarized partisan space. Something that would create a safer space a human space for civil dialogue around this. Um, and so it was, it was really important that it wasn't the same kind of facts and, and figures and information and um, that it be completely visceral and, um, you know, not telling people exactly what they're supposed to do or think, but just to experience this and give people that space to um, to, to feel it because I, I think what I have felt is that as we hear more and more of these tragic um, circumstances and the news cycle, I mean, they do a good job often, but the, the news cycle is so quick to follow them that, th that the power of long form documentary, we can do what the news can't do. That's our job. So I felt that my primary goal was to break through a desensitization that I felt was becoming more and more dangerous, that we're just becoming a num numb, we can't help it. And to sit for 80 some minutes and actually take in what this looks like after, what a community has to face and what they're left with in the wake of this, really forever, um, was you know, more important than anything. <laughs>